pH to zero. Then bring dial gauge point to contact surface of rear chain sprocket. The difference between the two surfaces should not read more than 0.05 millimeters. Should this not be so, it will be necessary to remove the inner clutch bell, add or remove the shims between the clutch bell and the bearing until the correct reading is obtained. Having done this, replace the torque limitator. Assemble the clutch springs. Discs and circlip, compressing the springs with the proper tool. Then tighten up in full the rear hub lock nut. Fit the crankcase cover gasket and replace the cover. Connect the clutch cable and withdraw the rear wheel support. Fill the crankcase with oil until this flows from the oil level plug. Now proceed with the assembly of the silencer. Followed by the right hand footboard. We now begin the dismantling of the front suspension and handlebar. Remove the headlamp by unscrewing the four fixing screws and disconnecting the wires. You will note that the junction box carries the impedance regulator for the battery charging, which has a fuse incorporated to protect the electric system from any short circuit. Having removed the two screws inside the headlamp housing, the four on the leg shield and the two screws under the mudguard, remove the horn casting and the mudguard. Release the front brake on the wheel. And unscrew the speedo drive. Then, having loosened the front wheel nuts, remove the wheel. To remove the trailing links, unscrew the grease nipples and the two screws fixing the rebound buffers. Withdraw the link pin and remove the buffers using a pair of pincers. Then with the proper tool, compress the suspension springs so that the trailing links can be removed, followed by the spring guide and the springs. Now, unscrew the two screws under the handlebar and lift the upper part sufficiently to reach the speedo bulb and unscrew the knurled nut holding the speedo cable. The speedometer is fixed to the upper part of the handlebar by these four screws. Now we can see the inside of the handlebar. We have the clutch cable, the two gear change cable wires connected to their pulley, the front brake cable, the throttle cable on its pulley, and the loom containing the wires from the main switch on the handlebar. To slide out the handle grips with the control rod, it is sufficient after having freed the clutch and brake cables from their other ends to release the trunnion on the lever and loosen the screw fixing the pulley. To remove the handlebar, release the cables at the other hand grip 
Remove the fixing bolt and tap underneath with a mallet.